Okay. Ah. <sighs> Let's try this again. Let's try this again, I say. Right now it says excellent connection, but that could change at any time. I switched the chat to live chat. So what I did was I switched the the something or other from backup YouTube server to primary YouTube server. And we'll see whether or not that makes a difference. I don't know whether it will or whether it won't, but, you know, it can't hurt to try. Maybe that's what's been going wrong all along. Who knows? Not I. I don't know. I'm just a guy. Still said... Oop. Saying excellent connection, I saw one little loading swirly, and another little loading swirly, which is typically followed by by badness, by no goodness. Seems we've got four concurrent viewers. we got a like. So, so some people are coming in. I don't know whether or not that <laughs> that swirly there is is saying, like, beware, this is about to stop working, or if I'm just paranoid. <laughs> but, but, uh, let's Let's see, Let, let's get into this, shall we? Shall we shall? Gonna press A. Hi, Skiffskaven. Oh no, immediately when I pressed go, error, YouTube is not receiving enough. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it, hi Steady Beats. Hello. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna take a deep breath. I'm gonna play a regular F099. Hey, hey, love your videos. Thank you, Dolphin H2O. I hope this stream stays online and healthy for your sake because uh because i tried this just a little bit earlier and it wasn't working i i pressed left i pressed big blue did I, maybe it was just whatever okay don't crash i beg of you do not and i'm not talking about me don't crash my machine i'm talking about stream stream don't crash Stream be stable and watchable. Completely new stream I haven't seen before. Hey, Elite Octo, that's right. Here for the first time ever, totally for real. Uh, let me know in the chat whether or not the stream is, like, lagging or buffering a whole lot for you guys. Because uh, on my end, it's saying the connection is poor and everything. But maybe that's just my dumb PC playing dumb tricks on me. And also let me know whether or not the audio is okay, or, you know, whatever. <laughs> if you can hear my voice perfectly clear over the sounds of the game, whether or not you can hear the sounds of the game, you know? Uh, these, these things are hard to, uh, to test run. Because tonight, for the first time... Boost is more important than Super Boost right now. I need health more so than I need... Uh, to take a to take the shortcut, and I also need to remember that uh, the same button that does regular boosting does super boosting. So don't use that till now. Aha! Funny shortcut. Uh, all my rivals are ahead of me. I've got a two laps left. I've got time. And look, there's a supercar. Ooh, and I bumped into him twice. But that wasn't enough to significantly fill my beater. Hey, somebody died. Rest in peace. Ooh, ooh, they're going left and right. What the heck? This is only the second lap. Yes, we've either got brutal killers in our midst or really poor racers in our midst. Killed that guy. I'm gonna do a little boost while getting boost. Never hurt anybody. Uh... This is lap four already? Gosh darn it. Give me some boost. Yeah. Here should be good. Enough so that I can initiate actual boost after surpassing this turn and going toward the finish line. Yeah. Better than nothing. Hope this game stays like Tetris 99. Me too, Ghosta. Me too. Something I do at the pit area is boost off it so I'm boosting but not losing boost. Yeah, I do the same thing. All okay? Good to hear, Sebas. Sebas? Sebas? I don't know how to pronounce that, honestly. But, uh, cool username. 
Hey, I'm um, Sock, do you think they will give this game updates, like more content and stuff, or do you think it's just a one and done? I hope, I really hope they can they give it updates. Because they're, they're going to do, every weekend, Grand Prix. You can see right now, Grand Prix starts in 15 minutes. They're doing it every half hour. Oh, in five minutes, excuse me. Fingers crossed that we can actually do that without my internet crapping out on me. Uh, yeah, they're doing Night League from, you know, from the first game. So presumably next weekend or next month or whatever, they'll do Queen League, then King League. And that would be all the leagues from the original game, but... You know, what if they... What if they add new tracks or retro versions of tracks from X and GX and introduce Joker League and Ace League and, you know, potentially other stuff? Wouldn't that be cool? Maybe do GX and make them jewel-themed, Ruby League, you know, Emerald League. Blue, uh, big blue. This game seems fun, and I was looking. I was looking, too. I've been looking my whole life for this game, and I didn't know it. F-Zero is possibly the best game for a 99 title. Very possible, Whitfield 1999. The thing is, if you guys saw my reaction, my reaction highlights, you know that that when this game was first revealed, I did not take it well. For for a, a multitude of reasons, some of which not possibly uh, spurred on by the fact that it was 7 in the morning and I hadn't eaten anything and I'd been working till like 2 a.m. the night before. But either way, uh, it, it's, to me... What I was seeing was, I was hearing no new music, I was seeing no new graphics, and the 99 style, 99 style games typically don't last. Uh, up to this point, they were all done by the same support studio, Akira. So, and, but they didn't do this game. This game, surprisingly enough, is the first game in like over a decade that Nintendo software technologies developed themselves. And that's, and somebody did some data mining on Twitter and they said this game is using the same uh, engine, the same toolkit and engine as uh, the 3D Mario games. And I was like, wait, really? So I was like, but you know, it's like you can do anything in a number of engines, I guess. Uh, oh wow, I'm doing really well and I didn't even notice. Uh, <laughs> now that I say that, I'm gonna get knocked to the back. Uh, but anyhow, uh, what was I saying? I don't know, I was saying a million thoughts an hour. I just, I initially thought there is reason to worry that this is just a 99 title and mostly, you know, just stuff we've seen before with F-Zero. But in practice, in play, I can see how this game is like... It's a reintroduction of the concept of F-Zero. It has been gone a long time for a lot of people. You know, I'm one of those people who says give us a new F-Zero Nintendo while still, you know, heading over to Dolphin and playing F-Zero GX every now and then when I feel like it, you know? Not everybody who's asking for a new F-Zero is playing the old F-Zeros. So, so it, it occurred to me that, uh, that I'm gonna die soon, holy cow. That maybe, you know, I should give this a chance, take it, you know, for what it's, for what it is. And for what it is, it's really good. It's, uh-oh, oh shoot, amateur mistake, I shouldn't have bumped into the explodey guy. Oh my gosh, I'm so close, am I gonna get my first first on stream? My first F1? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I shouldn't have boosted. Gosh darn it. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, no, I died. Well. Well, at least the stream crashed too. No, I'm still around. Okay. Yeah, that ended fast. F Zero is possibly the best game for a 99. Oh, I read that. That's really neat. It is really neat. Uh, but yeah, I really do hope. I really, really hope this game gets updates down the line. New tracks, new decals for your machines. How cool would new machines be, too? Like, retro versions of existing machines? That'd be so freaking cool. Uh, let's go Golden Fox this time around. Let's go for more boost, less durability. Oh, what am I saying? I just, I crashed out this last game, though. I'm gonna crash out even sooner if I pick this guy. Yeah, well, either way. Uh, but yeah, I really do hope. Really, really honest and truly hope they continue updating this game. I'm working on a video. I've, I've got part of a script done already. Only part of it. That uh, That's going to review this game. It's going to be two parts. Part one, review this game. Part two, talk about everything it could mean for F-Zero's future. Because, uh... Because, gosh, you, you ever... 
Does anyone in the chat graduated high school? No, yeah. If, if you haven't graduated high school, you'll, you'll come to find out that when you graduate high school, it feels surreal. Like, it doesn't feel like you graduated high school. You'll sort of, like, wake up every day still feeling like you've got to go to school, but then you'll realize, oh, wait, no, I don't. I graduated. You know, you'll be talking to friends, and they'll be like, hey, you want to come do a thing on Tuesday? And you'll be like, oh, I've got class on Tuesday. But then you'll remember, wait, no, I don't. I graduated. That's kind of how I'm feeling about F-Zero right now. You know, it's kind of like all of the... All of the, the things I've thought about F-Zero. Like, oh, it's so... It's so neglected, nobody knows about it, nobody's really played one. It's like, that's not true anymore. People are playing F-Zero. People on my Twitter feed are talking about F-Zero. They're talking about how, you know, difficult it is, how thrilling it is, how engaging it is. You know, how much they want to see more from it. How, how you know, I've heard some people say, like, you know, I've never played an F-Zero game before, but this game is awesome. And it's like, oh my gosh. Like, you know, is it... Is it really is it really starting to happen? Is Nintendo seriously entertaining the notion of making more F Zero games? Cause like and that's the thing, people you hear it all the time. You hear people say, Oh, this this game, this spin-off no one asked for, it's here to gauge interest in the IP. You know, it's here uh, to to for Nintendo to see whether or not people want one. And to me that's that's always been like, that can't possibly be it. Like, Nintendo releases Hey Pikmin thinking, like, do people even want Pikmin 4? No. You know, that's not why they did it. They did it because they thought to do it. You know? Like, uh, like you know, in Federation Force as well. I, I don't I don't altogether suspect that Nintendo thought, uh, this way we'll know whether or not we're okay to make Metroid Prime 4. They just thought that they'd make this game. Oh, I didn't beat any of my rivals. Gosh darn it. 15 here graduating this year yeah dolphin when you graduate high school it's gonna feel surreal it won't feel like you've graduated high school i uh, hope everyone is well this evening i'm well this evening thank you for asking dusty parker welcome i gave this a shot last night but i don't know if it could capture my heart like mario 35 did oh yeah Mar mario 35 was really good too I, w I was quite addicted to that game for a while okay fingers crossed guys let's say a little prayer that i can enter this league and that my internet won't crash, that my game won't crash, that I won't have wasted my tickets. <laughs> Imagine if they just put Super Mario Kart sprites in this game. It'd look so stupid, lol. Uh, it'd be it'd be a little funny. If that were, like, an alternate costume for each of the, like, if... Oh, shoot, I don't want to be <laughs> Golden Fox anymore. I want to be Wild Goose. Uh, <clears throat> but, yeah, if they, like, overlaid a Mario sprite over the Blue Falcon. That'd be kind of funny. It would be even funnier if it was like they restyled them to look like Mario Karts, but it was just like chibi versions of the pilots in them. Falcon, Goro, Pico, and Dr. Stewart. I hope the new F-Zero keeps the modes of 99. Uh, I mean, if they can, shoot, why not? I, I actually wish 99 had more modes. Uh, in the tutorial, if you've played this game already, in the tutorial, they sort of ease you into the 99 thing by starting you off against 25 opponents, then 50 opponents, and uh, and it's all CPUs. But, uh, but I remember, you know, there have been times I've been playing this where I'm thinking, like, just have a mode where you can race against 25 people or 50 people. Because 99, look at this, it's chaos! <laughs> Like, I love the chaos, don't get me wrong, but it's just, it's so much. It's hard to, like, focus on the race itself sometimes. Because, like, you know, the objective is just, in, a, in regular F-Zero, a lot of the times you'll find your objective will just be survive. Like, I don't even care about getting into first place, I just want to live. But with this game, that's just it all the time. You're just, you're never not thinking, I want to live, I want to live, I want to live. Even when you're doing well, like in first place or whatever, they'll spawn enemy cars to, uh, you know, to trip you up. Like, not and not just regular enemy cars, but, like, exploding enemy cars. So, like, they, they'll not just damage you, but, like, really damage you. So, uh, so I wouldn't mind uh, some additional modes that let you enjoy the F-Zero mechanics uh, without the caveat of, you know... Every waking moment, you're losing a little bit of boost because a whole bunch of people are going to be bumping into you all the time. 
But the fun, the, the good trade-off is the super boost. I like the super boost a lot. The fact that anytime anyone bumps into anyone, they leave these little yellow pe uh, pellets around. And those little yellow pellets can give you uh, an alternate path. That's a respite from the chaos. Ooh, I killed somebody. Hooray. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's take that out of context, why don't you? Shortcut. I've been, I should have been looking for more shortcuts. It's hard for me to talk and play at the same time. Uh, oh, but the guy in first place is only over there. Shoot, how far back was I? 23rd? Top 25, not bad. I just joined. Did you get first yet? Not yet, Papa G. Not yet ever. The best I've ever done so far, not even on the stream, but just in general, is second place. I got really close on stream just now, but I died. <laughs> I was in first place. It was the last lap, and I died. Uh, Mario 35 was amazing, Mayor Orangutan. I mean, it wasn't the most mind-blowing thing in the world, but it was a really good concept. It was really fun. It was really good for what it was. I like the 99 games. You know, I wasn't upset with the announcement of this game because it was a 99 game, but because I thought, you know, this is this to me was the equivalent of saying, like, it's a 3D Classics title, you know? Like, not something that's going to you know, in uh, move the series forward. Just a cute little distraction. But, uh, but I was wrong. <laughs> this, this is a, this really is in many ways a full fat F-Zero experience, and I am very happy with it. And, uh, and yeah, like I said earlier, I hope they do a lot more with this. Hope we get extra modes, extra content. I'd love if they do it at uh, F zero nine. I hope I'd love if they did what Tetris ninety nine did, and introduce a bunch of offline modes and local multiplayer modes, and even do uh, a physical release, a cartridge release down the line. Uh, that would be very cool. In fact, if Next Direct, you know, everyone's saying like, oh, now, now I bet the next thing that'll happen is uh, they'll. They'll die. No, the next thing that'll happen is F-Zero GX Remastered or F-Zero GX HD. And it's like, that's more possible now than it's ever been. And I'd always thought that. I'm actually, at the same time as that I made my Pikmin 4 video, I, uh, I started making a video about whether or not F-Zero GX can come back and what it would need. So uh, I, I really do think it's possible. I do, I do, I do. Uh, but uh, but before any announcement of that, I suspect that we'll see uh, updates to this. And that will suffice, I should think. Unless they're, like, really boring updates. Unless they're like, hey, you know, this weekend, the, the King League Grand Prix, be there, be square. It's like, yeah, we figured, you know. <laughs> so that's, that's not news. Uh-oh, Exploder. No, 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 no. Okay, Objective Survive. I'm in 40th place. Now, we've still got a whole other lap. I'll do fine. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Everyone else has freaking super boost and they're saving it. I'm going to wait for them all to do it and then do it when they're done. Because I can, I can deal with these, you know, sharp turns. It's not that big a deal. I could be better. My technique isn't perfect, but ah, screw it. I'm doing it now. Oh, I missed a speed, speed booster. That would have been nice. But look, a shortcut. Yes. Good, good, good. And it's just around the corner. Do I dare use my boost now? Yes, I do. How'd I finish? 23rd. Again? Didn't I get 23rd last time? Well, either way. F-099 is a pleasant surprise. Uh, yeah, I'd say so now. At the time, I thought it was a... You know, and, and part of this was... And this is why I hate leakers, by the way. Part of it was colored by the fact that it was leaked beforehand. Like, you know, they said F-099. I'd say, hey, I don't care if it's just F-099. I'll take it. As long as I see something new. And in the trailer, I didn't see anything new. It just looked like the SNES game. With no new music or, or nearly anything. But uh, but in practice, it's a lot more than that. I, uh, yeah. They should make Sonic 99? Could be. Hey, Zebor. Here it is. Yes, yes, yes. How do the physics in this game compare to the original? They might be exactly the same. It feels just about the same from what I can remember, if not a little bit smoother. Like, uh, I was about to say, if you want to try the original before this game, go ahead. But, like, 
if you've got Nintendo Switch Online, you know, if you've got Nintendo Switch Online anyway to try the F-Zero original game, you can just play this. In fact, it's probably better you play this because they've got, like, a spiffy tutorial and, you know, a tips page and everything. It's like, it's, it's doing everything it can be to be accessible to new people, but it's not compromising the, uh, the difficulty. I was also worried in that reveal trailer, when they revealed Super Boost, I thought to myself, oh no, it's F-Zero's version of the Gold Tanuki Leaf. It's F-Zero's version of the Blue Shell. We don't need this. This is counterproductive. But, uh, but I was wrong. It, it's really just, it's a necessity for a game where 99 people are playing on tracks designed for like 16, you know? So, uh, so yeah, no, Super Boost... It feels like an extension of everything else the game already does. Oh, and, you know, as you've been noticing, no doubt, spin attacks. Those weren't in the original. Those weren't introduced till X, so it's cool that they've got those. And that they, you know, they've got, like, cool mechanics to them. Like, uh, you see they charge in the HUD there. You wait for it to turn yellow, and then you can use it. Uh, but also it recharges instantly if you go off a ramp. So, like, especially... In the build-up, you know, in the in the runway, before you get onto the track proper, you can like really, you know, get some super boost uh, prepared. Oh shoot, shoot, shoot! Woo! Smooth operator. Did you see that? <laughs> oh gosh, this is the third lap. Okay, I'm not about to use boost. I've got so little health left. Uh, oh, but I've got super. I'll take it. I will take it. I will take it straight to the bank. Ah, oh, I would have liked to get that. Uh, ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. Give me boost. Please, please, please. I don't want to die. I don't need to get first. I just need to live. Uh, die. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that was really close. Those, those red ones, those pure red ones without names, those cars explode if you hit them. I would have died if I hit that guy. Oh, I just narrowly avoided him. Oh, but I didn't avoid him. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> this is why I love this game, game, game. Uh, you also have to, uh, ee, that guy exploded. You also have to let go of accelerate in order to make sharper turns. So that's also nerve wracking. Oh, I didn't beat a single one of my rivals. Gosh, darn it. Oh, well. I don't mind leakers, I just hate Resetera and Zippo as an individual person. Yeah, Zippo is always clearly, clearly making stuff up in my brain. Because he's one of those Nintendo leakers, that's the thing. You can always kind of tell which ones are phony by how much they share. Like, Zippo's one of those guys who's like, oh yeah, internally Nintendo considered ARMS a failure. So they're like considering them for Mario Kart, but they're not going to make ARMS 2. And it's like, why would you know that? Who, you know, what business memo is being sent out to the whole company that says ARMS was a flop, we're only going to use them in Mario Kart? It's like, <laughs> come on. That's, that's not, that's not a leak. That's barely even a rumor. That's just gossip, you know? <laughs> And they throw in lots of, like, details to try and make it sound like they know more than, you know, they, you know, they make it specific so that it's like, okay, well, if they know this much, if they're this confident, they've got to know something. Like the Donkey Kong leak, right? He said, oh, yeah, it's a Donkey Kong game made by EPD-8. Uh, it's got all of the Kong family and the Animal Buddies, but it's not called Donkey Kong Country. They, they've settled on a title already, and it's not Country. Because this studio has an ego, and then they don't like to, uh, to to develop things under a name made by a second party like Rare. And it's like, why? That's, no. You're making that up. That's fabrication. That's slander. That's not a leak. That's not anything. So yeah, so yeah, Zippo, you know, for whatever he may have gotten right, if anything, I don't think he has... He may have said, like, oh, Minecraft Steve is coming to Smash Bros., but, like, so did lots of people. And even then, it was just sort of like a, you know, that was just a conversation. People expected it. Ooh, those blue ones also explode. You gotta watch out for them. The blue ones, the solid blue cars, they're controlled by players who crashed out. Some of them will get lucky, and they'll give you the chance to suicide bomb somebody. You know, since you're dead already. Uh, shoot, 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 shoot. 
I shouldn't have boosted. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 I've got super boost, though. I'm about, I'm gonna die. I don't want to die. But hey, my internet hasn't crashed. That's kind of a mi mi miracle. Miracle. Uh. Yeah. Uh. I don't... I No, no. Please, leave me alone. Some... Some, that's the thing, I'm playing as Wild Goose. Wild Goose has the worst boost recovery of any machine in the game. Oh no, rank out zone! Oh, 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 no, 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 no! Darn it. I was so set on surviving that I didn't think about being eliminated. Rats! But that's why this game is fun. <laughs> if only it had Jody Summers and Mr. EAD, I'm a man who knows what he's about. Hello, Metal Snake. What's your favorite car in this game? Uh, Whitfield 1999? That's a good question. I don't know. I like them all for different reasons. In the original, I liked uh, Fire Stingray, because Fire Stingray has the best grip. But, uh, but I didn't even realize until this game that you have to let go of Accelerator. You have to let go of the Accelerate button to... Uh, to make sharper turns. I didn't even know that. So so I liked... I liked Fire Stingray because Fire Stingray has the best grip out of any of the machines. But now that I know that trick, I like Wild Goose. Because Wild Goose is the most durable. Which means, you know, and in a game where you're constantly crashing into people, yeah, you want that durability. The trade-off is you don't recover health as fast, and you can see why that's a... Why well, that's a bad thing, you know, or a drawback rather. Okay, we got 14 minutes till the next. Well, Protrax, why not? I await Gex 69. Uh, Gex remakes are coming out. They announced them earlier this year. They're remaking Gex, everybody. Gex is back. Gex zero. Let's go to Whiteland. Everyone will have me styled bodies from now on. <laughs> Oh, hey guys, we hate ARMS. We're removing ARMS in every Nintendo game. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, those are the kind of leaks. Yeah, we, we've been mandated to no longer have a, have ARMS. I see, I see. You're making a joke about, about ARMS not the video game, but ARMS the appendage. That's funny. I don't care who you are. That's funny. The background of map details could be better, but it's supposed to be like the original. Oh, that's the thing. The map details, the environments in this game look a lot better than the SNES game. Like, this game is, it is polished to high heck. And you'll notice, too, the sprites. The sprites look a lot cleaner. They've got a lot more frames. Uh, the exploding animation is great. Am I still, I'm still Wild Goose. I'm gonna, and that, that's part of my strategy, too, is when I'm Wild Goose, I don't go for boost in the first lap because, uh, because everybody does. So that gives me a chance to get ahead of some people. Ooh. Ooh, we're in Port Town. It only just dawned on me. Yikes! Yeah, see right there, as I'm making this turn, yikes! I'm not, ooh, I'm not even accelerating there. Uh, here, yeah. Scooby boot doo doo scooby boot doo 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 Oh, yeah. I need to be aware. I don't want to use the shortcut there because I want to get lots of spin attacks. I want to damage people so that... Uh, I don't want to damage myself there. So that they may possibly crash and burn and die and burn and die. What's going on? Oh, those are magnets. I didn't even realize. See, that's another thing. That that graphic. That graphic of the thing pulling me closer. That that wasn't in the SNES original. It's lots of little, a little, little good things. Little neat things here and there that Nintendo is so good at these days. It's really, even though this isn't like a big, new, cool, graphically impressive F-Zero, uh, it's, still, it's still got like modern Nintendo polish, and that's, that's one of the biggest things I've wanted to see from F-Zero's return. When I saw Metroid Prime Remastered first get revealed, I remember thinking to myself, man, I want to see an F-Zero game with these graphics, you know? And while this isn't that... Exactly. It's got it's got all that Nintendo like polish and stuff, and that's cool. That's real cool. This is just okay, this is just lap three. Not gonna use my boost right now. I need to recover some health first. Let's 
Skibidi beat. Skibidi beat. Skibidi beat. Do da do da. I'm not even listening to the. I should turn the music on on my end. Only you guys can hear it right now. My TV is turned off so that it doesn't get picked up by my mic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Am I? Well, I'm not terribly far behind, but I could be closer. Uh, but wait to boost till after a sharp turn. Yikes. There we go. There we go. Oh, my rivals. Are those all my rivals are up there? Oh, no. I was about to say that wasn't the last lap, but it was. Woo. Hi, Captain Hoo-Ha. Yo. Okay, I got one of my rivals at least. We were actually talking about a Bubsy 99 in the Ava Atari server the other day. Yes, Atari owns Bubsy, and you can talk to their CEO's assistant on Discord. That's cool. Ugh. New, uh, new high score for me for Port Town. Cool. It's like every leak he makes a story behind it that doesn't really have much to do with what people want to know. Well, even aside from, you know, leaking things, if you're actually leaking something, you're not telling people what they want to know. You're telling, you're telling people things, well, I guess you are. I guess people do want information early, but I don't get why. You know, when someone's like, you know, when it's Christmas time, do you look at your presents and you think, I want to see what's in there right now? Or do you think, I can't wait to open this on Christmas, the day we're supposed to open the presents and get them all together and be surprised and lovely and happy, you know? Spooky Squash, what's up? We really had fun with the surfing level for Mario Galaxy, so we're making every Mario game like the surfing level for Mario Galaxy from now on. That'd be a funny thing to hear leaked. They're making surfing. I guess this... I, I guess this game kind of is like the surfing level for Mario Galaxy. In the sense that it's like, you know, you got it. It's precarious. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Oh, I forgot to turn the music on for me like I said I would. Oh, well. Boost. Boost. Oh, whew, but yeah. It, it's been plaguing my mind recently how I first reacted to this game. Because I'm still getting comments from people here and Twitter and everywhere that are saying like, you know, Oh, you're one of those fake F-Zero fans who doesn't really like F-Zero because you were disappointed in the reveal. And I'm like, no, I swear I'm not. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I was just cranky. I was just heart, you know, disheartened. I was just convinced on some level that Nintendo wouldn't do that, but they did. But uh, but yeah, I, I I'm good with this game. And even still, I think you can still be a, a quote unquote real F Zero fan and not like this game or not think this game is too good. There are things about this game that I don't like, or things I wish were different or better, but, you know. And that's the thing, too. People saying, like, Nintendo had to release this game to see whether or not people would buy an F-Zero. It's like, no, nobody's buying this F-Zero. It came free with their freaking online. If this means anything for F-Zero, if this isn't just quirky Nintendo deciding they want to do a quirky thing, and this really, and it, they really are planning on bringing F-Zero back, so to speak, then if this is doing anything, it's them saying, hey, this is what F-Zero is. You know, take a crack at it. And then in the next Nintendo Direct, kind of like how they... Kind of like how with every single RPG that's revealed at a Nintendo Direct, they spend forever talking about the mechanics of it, of how, you know, turn-based battles work, and, you know, party members work. They might, you know, say F-Zero GX HD is coming. This is how, you know, setting your top speed versus acceleration works. And this is how custom parts work. You know? Like, like you know, who, I, I don't know. If they, are pr if they are planning on doing more things with F-Zero, I am here for it. You guys want to see what's in the workshop? Oh, I've got new palette swaps, apparently. Oh, no, boost decals. Oh, yeah, I'll go with green. But yeah, you can see. Like, I, I hope in updates, more decals. You know, more colors. More machines, even. Like, here, here are my machines. Blue Falcon. I need to do more racing with Blue Falcon. Unlock more stuff for it. 
uh, Golden Fox, Sam. I need to do more racing with a lot of people, but the game just came out. You know, what do you want? Uh, and my pilot cards. Yeah, see? On your pilot cards, you can choose the background, the badges, and they all mean something. They're little accolades, like, you know, KO one of your rivals, score 50 KOs, spend a total of 99 seconds airborne. And the borders, you know, reach level 20. These are all level up borders. And also you can, on your cards, you can choose which way your machine faces. I like this angle because it makes them look like Wallace and Gromit. But that's the thing too, I was initially, I was initially disappointed that this game, uh, didn't show any new art for any of the characters. And there is, there's the one, the one piece of new art for Mr. X, I'll freaking take it, it's lovely and I love it. But, uh, but there's no, oh, Sand Ocean, please. But there's no, uh, there's no new art for, like, uh, you know, Falcon or Goro or Pico. But, but what if, what if, guys, that's because they're not piloting these machines, you are. What if they are still characters in this universe, and what if they introduce special events where you have to, like, do Splatfest or Party Crash type things? Where they say, like, hey, you know, who's better, Falcon or Goro? You know, pick a side. You know, team with the most points wins. Or even, like, if they're going to do offline content like they did for Tetris 99, they could add a little pseudo-story mode where it's where it's like hey you know the the champion the champion challenges and you know goro would be like ha ha there's no way you can beat my best time but just in case you can i've set landmines all over the all over the track you will pay for that wouldn't that be the best thing ever that'd be the best thing ever honestly nothing could be better than that uh, well, yes, a new F-Zero game with HD graphics and all the pilots and an actual story mode and everything. That'd be good, too. <laughs> uh, but that's the thing, yeah. Another thing I really want about this game, again, like I said earlier, I want to be able to play this game with less people. I want to be able to play with 25 racers or 50 racers. Because 99 all the time is just, it's so much, you know? It's, the game feels much different when you've got a when you've got to ward off so many people. Oh please boost boost. Ah, I don't have enough super boost, which means I wasted some of my actual boost. But that's okay, I've got plenty left. Did I KO somebody? I think I did. That might be why I've got so much more boost now, despite the fact that it's the middle of a lap. Uh but this is oh, this is the final lap already. And look at where I am. Sixth place? If, if some people would just die, I might have a shot here. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ah! Did you see that, though? I, I avoided that exploder like a pro. Uh, oh, no, no. Oh, if I die here, yes. Yes, yes. A 20? <laughs> okay. I thought it was a lot higher than that, but whatever. We call that a skill issue, Elite Doctor. I need people to stop picking Death Mountain. I hate that windy oval. Uh, do, 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 do. I mean... Oh, the real Jason Griffith. What's up, dude? I love your music. I mean, voice acting. I mean, whatever you do. <laughs> I mean, is it really that big of a deal as long as you're not trying to take away surprises for someone else? Then what's the harm? Well, you are. If you share leaks... And, you know, and journalists, gaming outlets, you know, it, they're going to say insider information, inside rumor, potential leak. Is this happening? And anybody who's interested, if you're interested in Nintendo Directs, then your social medias, your feeds, are going to show you those leaks and rumors. And if they turn out to be true, then you will have been spoiled. And even if they don't turn out to be true, then you, you find you have these expectations you didn't have before, you know? That's why I try to... That, that's why, as a rule of thumb, I assume all leaks are fake. So that I can say, I'm not going to get caught up in the conversations right now, so I don't, you know, get disappointed too easily. 
You know, like every person who said, this Nintendo Direct sucks. Where was Donkey Kong? It's like, who said Donkey Kong was going to be here, you know? And if Donkey Kong did show up, that wouldn't have been like, yes, finally, after all this time of waiting since hearing about the leaks. It'd be like, no, no, no. No, it would be, what a great surprise. Now, because it is a surprise in general, because nobody told you you were getting Donkey Kong, but now here he is, you know? It's like, you gotta, you gotta accept things on their own terms. And I didn't. I made the I made the mistake of letting the leak set my expectations. And yeah, it's Pioro definitely had insider information. But even if Pioro even if Pioro on Twitter right now says F Zero GX coming in February, by the way, I won't believe him. You know why? Because if F Zero GX doesn't come in February, I'll be pissed. You know. And, and I'd rather say, I told you guys he was wrong, than say, I feel like a fool for believing this guy. You know what I mean? Like, even if, even if in the back of my head, I am thinking, yeah, it's probably coming out in February then. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't, doesn't change nothing. And that's the thing, too. Another reason why I think I reacted to F-099 so poorly is because I've just died. It's because I just died. No, <laughs> it's because... It's because I've sort of safeguarded my heart from ever believing F-Zero would happen. So the fact that it has happened, but not in the way I expected, it made me say, well, this isn't really it then, though. But the fact that it was meant that my heart was conflicted. It's like, it's really happening, but it's not really happening. So Nintendo is, so that's even worse, you know? But I've since, you know, like I said, since come around on it. Salutations, Racer. You think this is just keeping us busy till GX Remaster? I don't know, Nico Soviet 88 I think a GX Remaster is on the cards. I think it is possible. There was a time where I would have said no way, not ever. I wish, but no way. But even then, I wouldn't say I wish for a GX Remaster. I'd say I wish for a new F-Zero. A completely new game. Because remakes, I feel like I feel like remakes and remasters are like, oh, you have to do a remake or a remaster of the one everyone likes to see whether or not they'd buy a new one. And it's like that doesn't that doesn't mean anything. Like look at look at Crash Bandicoot, right? They 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 played their Crash's back card on the N Sane trilogy. They said Crash Bandicoot is back. After all these years, Crash Bandicoot is back. It's the it's the games you know and love, but modern. And people were like, whoa, Crash is back. And then they announced Crash Bandicoot 4. Finally, it's about time. That's literally the name of the game. And it didn't sell as well. Because, you know, all uh, because they, they, they played their hand with the remasters. So now when you tell your normie friends who have PlayStation nostalgia, hey, Crash is back, they say, I know, I got it. And then you say, no, you don't understand. He's really back. It's a new game. And the, and the normie says, yeah, I know, I've got it. And you're like, no, those are the remakes of the first games. This is a totally new one. And he's like, is that right? Huh. Well, anyway, you know, because, because those, those people, you know, they're, 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 not, they're not invested in the Crash Bandicoot, like, you know, friggin' continuity or, or the ongoing health of the franchise. They, they don't need more than one Crash Bandicoot game on their PS4. You know, Nintendo was kind of smart in that way, that a lot of their franchises are once per console entries. You know, one Animal Crossing, one Mario Kart, one Smash Brothers. Because, yeah, if they did one every two or three years, they'd probably get old. And they probably wouldn't be, you know, every single one probably wouldn't sell as well because it's less of an event. It's less like, oh, this is this console's Mario Kart. You know, you want to know why? Mario Kart 9 isn't on the Switch, it's because Mario Kart 8 is the Switch's Mario Kart. And it's one of the best selling ever. And that's not saying, wow, people really like 8 in particular. It's like, no, people really like Mario Kart. It's it's just that a lot of people have Switches, so a lot of people are going to buy the Mario Kart for Switch, you know? And that's why I'm, you know, I've got a sliver of hope for ARMS 2. I would, that was terrible. 70th place? Gracious. But yeah, that's uh that's something to keep in mind. 
Wait, I thought his name was Mr. Zero. Oh, it is Mr. Zero. You're right, Zebor. Yeah, Mr. Zero. Sorry, I called him Mr. X earlier, didn't I? Uh, Mr. EAD is the best. I like Mr. EAD a lot. I mentioned him in my F-Zero series in its potential video, how how his, his victory art from X is really cool, how he like takes his face off to reveal he's a cyborg. Uh, but my favorite is Drac. I like Drac. I'm back. What's up, Brandon Williams? I think I, I think, a I thing I do I think is lame is that you don't, you can't queue up with friends. Yeah, that's true, Dolphin. Dolphin H. Uh oh. What's this loading bar? I've never seen this before. Well, it says my internet's not great, but it's not dangerously bad. Okay, anyway. B. I forgot to turn the sound on for myself again. Gosh darn it. Oh well. The sound is good on this, by the way, right? Like, the, the game isn't louder than me, or I'm not too loud or too quiet, right? Nobody said anything, but, like, you know, I figure I should mention it just in case people are, like, you know, coming in then immediately clicking off, and the people who are sticking around are like, oh, yeah, I guess, I guess the audio is kind of funky. Like, I can fix it. After this race, I can totally fix it. <laughs> if it's if it's a no-good nick. Oof. That was a tight turn. Oof. Now that was a tight turn. Oof. Now that was a tight turn. I'm about to get super boost. I won't be able to use boost for much longer. Till I need it. Oh, I'm in the rough. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. Oh, here we'll do. Yes! That's how we do it. Ooh, the person in first place is right there. Let's get some boost. This is lap three. Yo! Ooh, I will not... Gosh darn it, I did. I bumped into him. Yo! Oof. I will not spill soup on the howls. Uh-oh. I, I, oh no, oh no, 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 oh no, 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 well, so the story goes, yeah, but that's Activision, they're idiots, oh, but that's the thing, though, if Nintendo, ooh, lucky bumper, I've only ever done this once before, I don't crash a lot, if you can believe it, detonate, do I not get to explode, oh no, just hit people for bonus points? I can do that. Hey, guys. Don't mind me. I'm just a little... This guy almost looks like me. I should recolor this sprite for the thumbnail of my F-Zero 99 video when it's done. Uh, I mean, there's nobody else to hit, right? Oop, just you. <laughs> nice. It makes no sense because making a remake takes as much time as making a new game. In a lot of cases, yes, so I've heard... You'd think it's the case that it's just like, oh, just drag the original file into the new, you know, thing or whatever. But it's, no, it's more complicated than that, apparently. Oh, this is Grand Prix? Oh, man, I didn't even realize. Gosh darn it. That means I've got to get out of here. Oh... Uh... I think it really helps that F-099 is made by Nintendo America. It's made by a lot of American people, I've noticed. I saw a lot of Western names in the credits. But uh, it's made by Nintendo Software Technologies. Who, uh, you know, who haven't, like, made games for for a long time. I forget what, their, what the last game they made was. It was something really, like, random. It was like, like a... Game Boy Advance game or something. And they, and you know, and since then they've been like working on, you know, technology stuff like, you know, UI stuff and dual screen stuff. So, so it's cool that they've, they're doing this and they're doing the Mario uh, versus Donkey Kong remake. So like out of the blue, they're making two new games and they're both, they seem like relatively budget titles. Here's another conspiracy theory. Uh, what is the new art? Not from the manual? Oh, oh yeah, the, the art of Mr. Zero is new. So far as I can tell. 
I, I looked through scans of the manual and the comic in the manual, and I was like, I don't see, I don't see that particular art of Mr. Zero. I think that's new. Uh, but yeah, what was I saying? So, you guys know how when EPD3 were making Breath of the Wild, they started by implementing mechanics, like ideas they had for mechanics in the new game, in a build of the NES game. Like, they remade Zelda 1 and put in, like, you know, burning wood mechanic, chopping wood mechanics, whatever. What if... What if this is that, and they just made a whole game out of it? What if they said, okay, if we're really going to do a new F-Zero, let's start at the beginning and see what we would have done if we had made it for the first time today. Because that's kind of like the philosophy they've had in the Switch era, right? They take a look at their beloved properties, and they say, what, uh, what else can be done with this? Let's go back to its roots, let's look at what works about what we've done before, and ask ourselves what, what we would have done with it at the time if we could have. So what if they remade the first F-Zero and started implementing stuff like Super Spark and the shortcuts and decided that, you know, nine, they, we could do up to 99 players and said, well, well let's, just, let's just do that. Let's just make a game for our online service and let them play it. You know, let them play what we've been working on to get the word out about F-Zero in the meantime, right? Because, uh, oh, I did this too early. I wanted to get that spin attack. Because it has. It's been a while since we've had a new F-Zero, you know? So, like, you know, what if? What if? What if this d is, you know, part of the process of making a brand new F-Zero game? And they just let us have it. A, because they could, but B, because they're thinking, you know, maybe they want to condition people to know that F-Zero is here. Because, like, because that's part of the, like, the thought process behind Pikmin 3 Deluxe, right? People were saying, oh, they're putting this out to see whether or not Pikmin 4 would sell. It's like, no, obviously they weren't. They'd been working on Pikmin 4 this whole time. Hey, beat all my rivals. But, uh, but yeah, they'd been working on Pikmin 4 regardless. They would have released it whether or not Pikmin 3 Deluxe was a success on Switch. But why did they put 3 Deluxe on Switch? To A, well, to sell it, you know, to make money. But also to condition people to be like, hey, Pikmin is still in the conversation. You know, same reason why they put the first two games on Switch and made the mobile game. And, you know, all that merchandise. They're like, we want, if we want to do more with Pikmin, because they could probably see... Nintendo is moving into other entertainment, you know, movies and theme parks and stuff. They're probably thinking to themselves, we could leverage the characters in Pikmin. They're so universal. We just need our current brand, our current output, to make Pikmin a bigger deal. And they did. All they had to do was decide. They're not, you know, that's the thing. Skip LTD very infamously told us that if Chibi Robo Ziplash didn't sell well, they wouldn't get another one. You know, that they wouldn't make another Chibi Robo. Because that would tell them that, you know, these have never performed that well, and, uh, you know, if nobody's buying them, we can't afford to keep making them because they don't make money back. And they were transparent with us. They told us, you know, someone interviewed them and said, hey, can we expect to see, you know, a regular Chibi Robo after this? And Skip was like, nobody's buying Chibi Robo. You know, we'd be surprised if you see anything Chibi-Robo after this if you don't buy what we freaking made. You know, that wasn't them saying, that wasn't Nintendo holding the franchise hostage. That was, you know, Skip, this company that Nintendo doesn't own but are in partnership with. That was Skip telling us, we're on the verge of bankruptcy. Please buy the thing that we have. You know, like, like they didn't... At the time, they didn't see any outcry for new Chibi Robo. You know, at that time, it was still really, really niche. Anyone who was talking about Chibi Robo was a nichety, was an oddity. You know, in the Wii U 3DS era, Nintendo fans weren't mainstream gaming public. You know, they, they weren't mainstream anything. 
They they were fringe. So so their demands didn't really matter that much because they weren't a huge audience. Nintendo needed a bigger audience. And now Nintendo's core audience is bigger because the Switch has made more people fans of all ages. You know, adults and kids alike care more about Nintendo now than they did 10 years ago. You know, I don't think it's the case that Nintendo was ever saying, like, we're going to test this franchise's viability. Like, that that's dumb. No. They say, we're going to make a fun game and, you know, market it and all that and hope that it does well. And if it does better than we thought, well, then we've got to make more of these because, say, they make money and, and this property is good. And if it makes less than expected, they'll be like, okay, what went wrong? What can we do to make sure that it does better next time? Miyamoto was of the opinion that F-Zero wasn't selling well at the time because, you know, it ran its course. They said, if we've got to make games that are going to attract new people, we've got to make games more exciting than this. He didn't think that doing F-Zero again would bring that audience in. And who could blame him? You know, Nintendo had their first success in a, after a long string of consoles that sold worse than their predecessors... Uh, until the Wii. And the Wii's magic thing was that it attracted, you know, the, the casual players. So they just tried again with the Wii U and it didn't work that time. You know, so they realized too late, hey, got a new decal, sweet. So yeah, they realized too late that, uh, that, you know, that, that their current strategy wasn't working. So current Nintendo is trying new things and... Fingers crossed, it's working, you know, mostly helped because the Nintendo Switch is a success, but maybe because the Nintendo Switch is a success, they can keep doing stuff like this, you know? The last game NST made was Bowser's Fury. We've been over this. Oh, lol. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you were telling me about, yeah, Nintendo Software. I conflate them with 1UP Studio. I guess maybe they got, like, rolled into one or something. I vote for Big Blue a lot. I'm voting for Mute City this time. <coughs> nice. We actually don't know if they're doing Mario vs. Donkey Kong, but we didn't know they worked on Snipper Clips. Good job. And the Stretcher's Optimization Support. Okay, well, that's the thing then. Yeah. Yeah, NST, that was it then. I was misremembering them not having developed a game as them not being the main developer of a game in a long time. Like, yeah, giving support on smaller titles, like Bowser's Fury, you know, or like, uh, you know, the Stretchers, Good Job, Snipper Clips. But that's the thing, right? If they did Bowser's Fury and now they're doing this, what was Bowser's Fury? It was an add-on to, you know, a port that they were all gonna, already going to release that was just a small, self-contained thing that used the bones of an old thing but introduced a lot of cool new concepts that people want to see return in a more, you know, fuller experience. Does that sound familiar? It should, because that's this. F-099 is very much like Bowser's Fury in that way. So, uh, so I wonder... I wonder, man. And and it's crazy that I can wonder. You know, I'm going to introduce a new series of videos. Annual, I'm going to make a new video every year. I, I haven't settled on a name yet, but I'm thinking of calling it Nintendo IP Watch. Where January of every year, I'm going to keep track of where Nintendo's IPs lie in the hierarchy. You know? Like, you know... And I was going to say stuff like Advance Wars got a new entry for the first time in over 10 years. Uh, Princess Peach got, you know, a second game, meaning that now she has she officially has a, a franchise, you know, instead of a one and done. And I was going to say, like, you know, in uh, July of this year, it's officially been over 10 years since we've had a Flipnote game. So now Flipnote is officially dormant, you know, stuff like that. I would never have dreamed... That in that in this same video coming this January, if all goes to, according to plan, that I'll be able to say F Zero is back. F Zero, guys. You know, and the fact that another code, another code is another one. 
that that's come back. I wouldn't have expected that either. So who's to say whether or not custom robo will happen someday? Gosh, could you imagine? Hey Sock, I'm out and about today so I won't be able to stay long. Hope your stream goes well and I'm glad you're starting to enjoy this game. Hopefully this game does well and we'll get a bigger game. Thank you, Zelda Donkey. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Fringe, more like cringe. Sucks that Chibi Robo is 200 bucks right now, but I might invest. Uh, I'd, I'd recommend against it. Aw, oh, we lost by... Uh, <laughs> Uh, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's a me. Uh, that's, you know, it's not going to be two hundred. If, if Nintendo ever remasters Chibi Robo, the price of that GameCube game is going to go way down, brother. You know, you don't you don't have to spend two hundred dollars right now to play it. You don't have to spend any money right now to play it. Just you know, just pirate it. Do 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 do. do. Yeah, I think that if they do anything after 99, it's going to be the basis for the next game. I don't really doubt that things from this game. If you say so, Dolphin. Although Big Blue is one of the best music tracks ever conceived, so I will never complain about hearing it. Oh, cool. Hey, thank you. Tight turn moment. I mentioned there was no game audio. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! I can fix that. Wait, why isn't there any game audio? Properties, device, capture, okay. Well, that's strange. I saw before we started, the thing had audio. Hmm. Hang on. Why isn't it working? Hang on, let me try something. No, still not working. What's the deal? Let me try something else. Hang on. When he said after 30 years F-Zero is back, do you think he meant SNES F-Zero or Big Picture F-Zero? SNES F-Zero, Nico. Just, just SNES F-Zero. Trying to figure out why this isn't producing audio. Let me try something else. <clears throat> Properties. Okay. Properties again. UDHD. Device default. Color space, color range default. Okay. No, still not working. What's what's the deal? <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, hang on. It, oh, is it working now? Can you guys hear the music? Let me know. <coughs> Gracious. Well, Ziplash was also a Hail Mary to save the company too, so Ziplash literally was them saying, we out of money, foo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It would appear that my chat is a lot behind me, but, uh... When you get there, 1UP's last game was also Bowser's Fury, and before that, bitch work on Ring Fit Crossing and something on 3D All-Stars. 
you know, I guess. Well, I didn't mean to say that I confused NST with 1UP in the sense that I thought 1UP uh, didn't make anything a long time. I meant that, uh, what did I mean? I don't know, my brain is fried. Does this have the ability to play with friends? Mm, no. <laughs> you can't, like, make a room for just you and your friends, sadly. But you should. You should be able to. I think they should put that in an update. This, that art of special event team battle, that's from the comic. That's from the manual. But the art of Mr. Zero on the loading screen with his finger up, that's a new piece of art. Custom Robo is in legal limbo due to noise only existing on paper right now. I thought that, Zebor. I thought that same thing. Especially when the news came out that, uh, that, like, they let the, the copy, the trademark expire or whatever. But Nintendo, they put Custom Robo on NSO. There's Custom Robo content in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, including a Raymark 3 Me costume. You know, it's, Nintendo has the rights to Custom Robo. They do. They have to. And, and noise also, I think they just don't exist anymore. <laughs> I, I, th I think they did go under. But, but Custom Robo is on the table. It's in the cards. They could do it. And, you know, maybe maybe someday. But Chibi Robo is also in legal lo uh, limbo because of... Skip went bankrupt, but also because Bandai owns a portion of the license. Yes, so... So that's the thing. If Nintendo doesn't do anything with Chibi Robo for long enough, the rights will revert to Bandai. I think that's how it works. But, you know, but either way. Uh, the director of Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp did say that he'd be interested. Someone asked him in an interview, you know, if he had to work on another Nintendo game, what would it be? And he said, Chibi Robo or Kuru Kururin? And they said, well, weird picks. Why, you don't want to work on Mario or Zelda? A and he said, like, you know, there will be Marios and Zeldas. There will always be Marios and Zeldas, but there are hardly ever these, and those are what I want to work on. And I, and I was like... My man. <laughs> you know, a man after my own heart. Famicom Detective Club also came back. Yeah, freaking weird, right? And the fact that it's still called Famicom Detective Club, too. Like, like, there's nothing Famicom about it anymore. It's totally modern, and yet, and yet, it's just, you know, that's just what the series is known as. You know, for people who played it in Japan, that's what they know it as. So it's just like, yeah, why not? And the localizers were like, eh, it's not worth it. It's not worth coming up with a quirky new name. Let's just keep calling it Famicom Detective Club. Why not? Same thing with another code. In America, we only got the first game, and they called it Trace Memory, which is a fine enough name, I guess, but, like, yeah, they're just like, nah, another code. It's just what it's called, whatever. All right. Let's play another F-099. Local tournament mode would be nice. You're telling me. GameCube on Switch 2. It's too late in the life right now. I don't know if they'll ever do GameCube NSO. I, I think they've they've found that they've struck gold with these GameCube remasters and remakes and the like. Insert booster course pass meme here. Uh, ooh, pardon me. They did say specifically the F Zero game is back. Yes, yes. In regards to whether or not, what's his name, Takahashi Furukawa? I forget. <laughs> I get them mixed up, the the boring presidents. But yeah, he said, after 30 years, the F-Zero game is back as a battle royale. He was talking not about the series, but just this game in particular. But you know, there might, there might just be a future for this series after all. I don't want to get my hopes up too high. I don't want to expect anything soon. You know, but uh... But the fact that it came back feels good, man. This is gonna be one of those games that I just play a little. <laughs> I'll probably, if whenever I get the opportunity to play anything, I'll probably be playing this. I love this game, man. And yeah, and that's why I hope they continue to like support it and update it and do all kinds of fun stuff with it. Oh, I use too much boost. Far too much boost. We still got three laps left, brother. Do 
I don't even need to bump into that guy. Because, uh... Because I've collected just enough. Just in time to do this. Get some guaranteed boost. And pass my rivals? Oh, and look, there's a... Oh, well, I'm gonna pass right over him. Eh, whatever. It's better to do well than to hang back and possibly get more super boost. Do, 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 do. I'm in 60th place. That's not very good. I can do better than that. Thank you. Uh, KO'd that guy. Got more boost. Uh, yeah. Ooh, a couple KOs. Oh, I'm rolling in the heat now. Come on now. Oh, I use too much. I get too greedy. This is the last lap, though. I can be greedy. I can use my super right now. Oh, all my rivals. Can I get ahead of them? No. <laughs> but, whatever. If you time pressing the match, you can get in together easily. At least I've been able to many times. Oh, like playing with friends? Good to know, Mike and Max. We heard. Yes, it's working. We are very behind. Yeah, that's that's the nature of streaming, I guess. But also because I think uh, I think I set my stream to low latency, you know, which you know I need to because my computer is bad. You guys, like right now, the stream for you is it? Does it look visually okay? Hey, ride the skyway two hundred times. Hey, score 50 KOs. Oh, I'm so close to three tickets. We gotta get there before before the meter goes away. Before the, the time goes away. What do you think about $60 remakes of GBA and Game Boy games? I feel like there is not enough there to justify a full purchase. I mostly agree. Uh, I, I think it really depends. It's very situational. Like the Link's Awakening remake? Yeah. Probably should have been forty dollars. You know, it, it's not exactly a sixty dollar experience, and it is based off a game that's you know really old. Even if the graphics are pretty, and it took a lot of time to make. Uh, but something like Advance Wars Reboot Camp, um, I, I think I think sixty's fair enough. But it would have been nicer if you know the online was better, or or if you could like do you could play against friends easier or something but like you know i i think in general it's like i don't mind paying 60 dollars for it the mario versus donkey kong remake being 60 is funny though it's not 60 it's 50 but either way it's like 50 really for for a game in a series that's kind of associated as nintendo's budget series right for oh shoot no no it's only the first lap come on i wasn't paying attention Focusing on too many things at once. Ugh. And yet my rivals can stay ahead of me so effortlessly. Uh, uh, let me go. Oh, I don't need to go to the Skyway yet. I should just get boost. Since I'm hanging back anyway. Yeah. Uh, oh, but now I'm just too far away. I should ride it. Yeah, around this corner. But yeah, I'm very... I, I don't know if Mario vs. Donkey Kong Remake is going to be worth 50 bucks. But I could be wrong. Maybe they really uh, maybe they really put a lot of new uh, content in it, you know? <laughs> I think it's a dangerous game, playing the price is equivocal to content game. Because I, I fully believe Metroid Dread is a $60 experience. You know? I'm one of those guys. I don't think just because something isn't isn't like a Sony Studio AAA game doesn't mean that it's not worth the money. Because that's the thing too, you know, I know people have talked about it a bunch, but it really is true. If you take like inflation into consideration and like the time and effort it takes to make video games, they're, they're a steal at 60 bucks most of the time. Why did I boost there? No, now I'm going to die. Now I'm going to die. Someone's going to bump into me any second now. Any second. Yeah. Ugh. 
Shinya Takahashi is the main Nintendo presenter. He's the head of hardware development and is also just more pleasant than Koizumi, head of EPD-8, and general producer of software. Uh, I like Koizumi. I think Koizumi's charming. He did, He's the ice guy, right? He did the, the ice cube glasses. And, of course, he's the guy who did, you know, Mario Odyssey and all that. Would you play a VR Metroid? I don't know if I'd play a VR anything, <laughs> to, to be frank with you. I don't know if I've got the the stomach for it. I'd play a VR Arms. I'd play a VR Custom Robo, where it's not like a first-person game, but you're just, like, looking at what looks like... I'd play an AR Custom Robo. If they had, like, alternate reality glasses... Not alternate. What are they, What is it called? Something A Fixed Reality? Whatever AR is short for. Uh... Yeah, I'd play a custom Robo game like that where it looks like there's a real Holosseum in front of me with little robots fighting in it. That'd be great. Oof, my back. I've been leaning so far forward for most of this. A, because my microphone is there, but B, because this game has me on the edge of my seat. And C, because my chair is squeaky and I don't want it squeaking throughout this whole stream. <laughs> Do 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 do. So yeah, it looks like I don't have enough tickets to do a Grand Prix this time around, but whatever. Depending on how long we've been streaming and what time it is, we might have time to go for another one. And my games haven't been crashing, you know, so that's a plus. And my stream, as far as I can tell, hasn't been crashing either, so that's that's good. Video quality is probably not the best, but, you know, it's if, if it works, it works. I'm also... Re oh, wait, no, I'm not recording anymore. That's right. I got a little pop-up. That's probably why the audio cut out as well. It's because I got a notification that told me not enough disk space to keep recording. So, so at this point, I'll have to rely on uh, downloading this stream's playback when, it, when it's done and in my YouTube studio. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where's my capture button on the Pro Controller? There it is. Want to save that one later. Couple of KOs. Good stuff. And I've got so much boost now. It's crazy. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, and another KO. Nice. Get some of this boost back before I spend it all and die. Oh, gosh darn it. I just meant to regular boost, not super boost. Whatever. Now I'm getting... Now I'm up here. Now I'm playing with the big boys now. Is this the... This is the fourth lap. Shoot. I should just... Yeah. Uh-oh. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes! I finished. In 12th place. Better than nothing. Stream looks all right, a bit of stuttering, but video and audio is fine. Oh, well, thank you, Mike and Max. Well, I didn't realize. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Visually, it's fine, but it keeps on cutting in and out. I'm sorry to hear that. I truly am. That must be dreadfully annoying. We definitely won't see any more consoles added to Switch NSO for now. I'm just waiting on the next console. Yeah. Audio's gone again? Why does that keep happening? Why does that keep happening? I can't for the faintest reason imagine why. Oof. Properties? Oh yes, okay. Wait a minute, is it working now? Wait, I'm gonna try something real quick. I think it is working. Let, let me try something. was it okay well <laughs> never mind <laughs> i think i think the audio is back okay should have been donkey kong 94 instead of mario versus donkey kong the game feels really long oh yeah it's got like a hundred levels or something yeah no if there's any game boy game if there's any one game boy game i want to see remastered or, or remade rather it's balloon kid 
I just played it for the first time earlier this year, and it's it's really good. It, it feels like a weird peek into an alternate reality where Balloon Kid was just as big as Mario. If that and and I know I know that sounds insane, right? Balloon fight, really? That that one kind of cute NES game that gets referenced here and there by a character having two balloons, like Tingle or Animal Crossing or whatever. But like, no, it's that game makes me feel like there is there could have been an alternate timeline where they just kept making balloon fight games. Do you see the Giga Leak? And the prototype for Yoshi's Island called Super Donkey. That like had this weird Rayman looking uh, sprite of who was I guess supposed to be Stan the Bugman. Like that guy kind of looks like the Balloon Fighters. And that game, that, that prototype's visual style, it's like Yoshi's Island but with no like, you know, crayon thing going on. Just like, just bold outlines, cartoony, big sprites sort of thing. And I was like, shoot, if if they made a balloon fight game for SNES that looked like that, and like had, you know, four player multiplayer, or, or you no, know, not four players, there were only two players at SNES, but you get what I mean. If they like kept making a balloon fight game every generation, we might think of the whole series differently. Like, like we'd be looking at a timeline where it's one of Nintendo's biggest. It's like, it's crazy that any Nintendo franchise is just you know, one lucky thing away from being immortalized in that way, you know? Like, because Metroid definitely, Metroid could have easily fallen off. If they never made Super Metroid, we might have never gotten a Metroid after Samus Returns. Not Samus Returns, what was it called? Return of Samus. Metroid 2. The Game Boy one. We may not have ever gotten another Metroid game after that if Nintendo, uh, R&D, whoever it was at the time, made uh, Super Metro. Because that game is what sort of made it a big deal. You know, that was its breakout moment. <clears throat> Been talking for a while. Oh, is this the last lap? Oh no, I thought that was the finish line. Oh, I'm dead now. I've been KO'd by the retro model. Eh, at least I defeated one of my rivals. DK94 is really fun. Just has so much content. Uh, it would make for a fantastic remake and get a much needed name update. <clears throat> Alternative reality. And yeah, I hope they do that for a new Advance Wars game. Oh, that could be fun. Yeah, Grand Prix is gone again. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break just to stretch my back, drink a can of soda. <clears throat> How long have I been streaming for? Hour 23 minutes? We could do more. It's 5.42, don't have to be anywhere till 7.00. But yeah, working on a video about this game. Really, uh, really want to try and get it done as soon as I can. Like, get the script made over the weekend. And, you know, and obviously I'm capturing footage now as well as just, you know, capturing just little Switch things. I can import them to my PC via a USB cable. Did you know you could do that? I didn't realize you could do that till I made my Pikmin 4 video. I was like, yeah, I made getting B-roll a breeze, because now it's like, oh, I want more... I want more visual variety. Well, it's like, well, now I can. I can have all of these little highlights I took for just myself using my Switch's capture button and put them right into the B-roll. Isn't that cool? Super Boost really should have been a separate button, me thinks. Me too, eh? Me too. Honestly, because I wish you could use regular boost even when you've got super boost saved up, and I wish that you could use regular boost while you're on the Skyway. You know, maybe that's a little OP, but it's like, reward players who, you know, use their 
resources strategically, you know? Because as it is, yeah, it is just... The thing about this game is that you can't play by instinct alone. You kind of... What? Wait a minute, I'm sorry. Oh. Shoot. What happened? Video capture device. Properties. UHD capture. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just now seeing people in the chat say, we have sound but no picture. Well, Nancy and I, we just thought it was absolute freaking bollocks that the game audio cut out, and well... Gosh, I'm sorry for that, guys. I'm awful sorry. I'm powerful sorry that happened. I'm powerful sorry. How long has it been that way? I don't know. I don't know how long it's been that way. Zebor and A and It's a Me, I'm seeing them all say it now. But they would have said that back when it first happened, and I don't know how long ago it was that that happened. His sock can't hear us. He has AirPods in. It's, you know, it's it's the friggin' delay, guys. Best OBS gameplay. <laughs> well, at least people had a sense of humor about it. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I really did. You gotta believe me. Lol, all good, man. Hey, what's up, Cam the Can? He's laying hard on chat so he won't see the comments for a while. Gosh darn it. This is the worst. I feel I feel like I'm watching my own funeral or something. Like like I'm like I'm 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 here! I'm right here! I'm right here, you guys! You have to believe me! <laughs> and by the time you guys hear me saying this, it will have been forever ago and you won't I won't see your responses until a while later. I've never heard of Balloon Kid. Oh my gosh, it was that long ago? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Gosh darn it. I'm sorry, guys. OBS stream. What's up, Cassia? LMAO. LMAO. Now this is funny. Now, I don't care who you are, that's funny. I don't care who you are, what you do, that's just funny. <clears throat> well, now, now I just have, now we just have to wait. I mean, ugh, I got a fart. It's like Kid Icarus 2, it's a sequel to a lesser NES franchise that only released in certain territories. Oh, did it not release in Europe or Japan or something? Osak has a hot date at seven, huh? Not a hot date per se, but uh, but a previous engagement for sure. I hope Sock likes his downloaded footage from YouTube. It's yeah, it's gonna be swell. Oh my gosh, did I not say that until after mentioning Balloon Kid too? This is weird. This is so weird. I feel like even though I've streamed before and the the response time wasn't this bad. Like like there wasn't this much of a delay. <laughs> I hopped into your stream to say hi, turns out your visual is out. Have a nice night. Uh Yeah, that's Cam the Can just give me a Yeah. I noticed a while back latency is really long lol still streaming visuals are back haha -ha. thanks for coming Send. Boomed. Oh, this is no good. Oh, I've got to catch up. Oh, I'm so behind. Oh, no. 
I can't be in the 90s. I just can't. I hate the 90s. I love the 90s. I hate the 90s. I love the 90s. Which is the real answer? Nobody knows. You can't trust us all. Uh, well, I'm in the safe zone, at least, in the 70s. I like the 70s more than the 90s. I like the 90s more than the 70s. I like the 70s more than the 90s. Okay, save the boost. Save the boost for when you need it. Save the boost, and then you feed it. Save the boost. I'm gonna weed it. Save the boost. Go go goose. The wild goose. That's what I drive. And now. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Boost. Speed. That's from the Vinny Vine Sauce reference. I also noticed when when Vinny uh, streamed this game the other day, he was also having internet connectivity problems. I think it is just like luck of the draw. Like, and he had like wired internet too. He's a friggin' professional streamer for crying out loud. He'd have good internet. I think it is just the game sometimes cuts out. Which is unfortunate for when you, you know, have a finite amount of tickets you can spend on entering Grand Prix, you know? Yeah, KO. Yeah. Oh, I, I just realized that those gray machines, those gray bumpers are probably there specifically to give players the opportunity to uh, boost through them to earn boost back. That's very clever. Oh, I didn't even press send. Or did I? I Cam the can earlier? I did just now. Gosh darn it. Oh well. And I got a spam message by a bot saying like, Hey, have you seen YouTube Pals? They're the best thing ever. LOL. He caught up. He finally noticed. Any tips from 099? Oh, I hate that astral projecting during my own funeral. It's okay, Sock, your voice is enough. Okay, good, it seems people are back. Gotta start hosting these live streams on Discord. Does that help? Is that different from hosting it on, uh, what, what do I use, OBS? Sweet, and of course, okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Live chat. All messages, not just top messages. <clears throat> Eight minutes till till the next Grand Prix. Let's go to practice for a little bit. Let's not go to practice for a little bit. Sock has a cold day at seven. Yeah, okay, everybody's hearing my Larry the Cable Guy impression now. Sweet, cool. Baby, oh, this is so weird. Like, I like streaming because I like interacting with the chat. But if... If everybody's memeing the things I say, and it's like, and I'm seeing them meme it back, and I'm like, okay, you know, greetings, people from the distant past, here in the future, I'm doing something different, you know, it's like, I don't know if we can have a conversation that way. Weird. I mean, obviously we can, but like, I don't know. Looks good to me. Thank you, Dr. Lava's Lost Pokemon. Sock is really speaking from the heavens and beyond. Uh... So what was I gonna say? Yeah, F Zero's back. F Zero's back. That's just a thing I've got to get used to now. F Zero is back. It's not back in the way I would have expected. It's not back in the way that is ideal. It's not back in the way I think a lot of people would categorically say it's back. In the same way people didn't see Tropical Freeze get ported to Switch and say Donkey Kong is back. It's like no, they said Donkey Kong is gone and it's been gone since 2014. It's like no, it hasn't. No, it hasn't, but I get what you're saying. There hasn't been a brand new Donkey Kong since 2014. And for people, like, yeah, that's all that really matters. They don't care about whether or not the franchise is, you know, even active. They just care about whether or not it's gotten new things. And that's, you know, and that's very valid. But as a fan of F-Zero, which up till now hasn't had lickety split, since, you know, frickin' GameCube. You know, no, no nothing. 
no opportunity for new fans to be made, really, aside from, like, Virtual Console, but even then, you know, that that's an insular market. People who are getting F-Zero on the Virtual Console are already, like, Nintendo fans, you know? Or, like, Nintendo hobbyists, at least. So, so it's like, yeah, F F Zero is back finally. Ooh, I'm very hot. I'm very hot right now. My window is closed. I've been doing this a while. I'm getting a little lightheaded, honestly. I think, uh, I think it might be time to stop soon. Well, this is the last. This is the last lap. Uh, my goal. My goal is to not crash and burn. My goal is to reach the finish line alive, and, uh, oh, I can do that! I killed a man, and that gave me the energy to keep going! Yee-hoo! Just like real life, and I got a super boost. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, in the top ten. Oh, in the friggin' Yahoo! Vinny Vine Sauce mentioned. <coughs> Sweet! Defeated all my rivals. I can expect survival against my rival. Finished. Nice. Got tickets. I don't think I've got... Yeah, I haven't got the wherewithal to go for one more Grand Prix. I've got I've to gotta lay down. I've got to get water. So, no tips for F-099? Okay, before we go, first, tips. Uh, oh, actually, can, I, can we see the tips? There's like a tips page, right? Options. Game tips. If your power meter hits empty, you'll be in danger of crashing out. Enter the pit area to recharge your power meter. Hold B and press A to activate a boost. For using A, boost drains your power meter. Don't overuse it. Letting go of B accelerate can make sharp turns easier. Press L and R to slide left or right. Press L and R while steering to drift around sharp turns. Complete each lap above the safe rank to avoid getting ranked O. <laughs> this stinks, I'm just writing the thing. So, okay. My own personal tips for F-099. Uh, pick Wild Goose, because Wild Goose uh, is the most durable, because you bump into a lot of stuff in this game, because there are 99 other people playing with you. You, you want to avoid taking damage, so pick Wild Goose. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, save your super boosts for points in the course where there are really tricky turns. Turning is the most difficult thing to do in this game. So if you wait to use your super boost to bypass those turns, that's going to give you the most expedient results, I think. Uh, spin as frequently as you can. If there's no one around, don't just spin into nothing, but keep track of your spins because they can save your life. They can be the difference between, you know, killing someone or getting killed. So be be conscious of your spins. Uh, that's another thing. Uh, be, be aware, know the tracks. You have to know the tracks. You have to know where to use super boost. You have to know where to turn and drift. Uh, for when you're on the, the, what's it called? What is it called? Before you start the race, you race toward the actual track on the runway. When you're on the runway, uh, try to immediately spin into someone off the bat, you know, so that you initiate, uh, a flow of super boost getting built up. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at my own stream right now on a phone. It's like, yeah, it's crazy how far behind it is. It's like, I'm watching myself in fourth place in that last race right now. Sixth place and finish in sixth place. Crazy. Crazy how far behind I am. Never played F-Zero in my life, but this looks fun. It is fun, Casilla. We can have a conversation. It's just the equivalent of that friend who lags so hard with text that you wonder if it's even worth it. 
So in a way, you can blame 9-11 for lack of balloon fight 3 inflation station. No. <laughs> balloon Kid came out in 1990 anyway. They had plenty of time to potentially bring Balloon Fight back. Absolutely not. I meant streaming on Discord as an alternative to YouTube. As an alternative to? You can do that? That's a thing? Learn something new every day. You know what? Grand Prix starts in 50 seconds. I'm gonna go grab a glass of water and come right back. I'm gonna turn the music up so you guys can enjoy it. I'll be right back. Let, uh, let all your friends know if other people come join the stream right now and they're like, hey, what happened? So that, that's what happened. <clears throat> be right back. Alright, I think I've got just enough stamina to attempt a Grand Prix. Let's go. 54 tips, let's go. Yeah, sorry, spoiler alert, I don't read them all. Oh, I'm playing as Fire Stingray. No wonder things have been so weird. I want to be that wild goose. Oh, can you hear my dog barking? Water, water, water. <laughs> oh yeah, it's all come together. <clears throat> so it's been an hour and 42 minutes. By the time this Grand Prix is done, I'm going to wrap it up. Fingers crossed I can make it all the way to the end. Finish in the top 20, at least. I'd like to win... But that, but you know, maybe that's, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's kind of a good thing that you guys are, uh, that there's such a, a lag between me and the chat. Because this way I'm not distracted by saying, like, has anybody said anything that's, like, relevant and right now? Because, like, no, you guys are still in the distant past right now while I'm in the future. I'm in the future, baby. Meaning that, meaning... That by extension, not only am I in the future, but I'm in the present. And I will live for the present. Paying careful attention to the game I am playing. And not absent-mindedly making bad choices. Uh, die. <clears throat> I shouldn't have spun in the midair like that. No one was with me. Okay, who am I going to spin? You. Eee. Nice. Could be better, though. Ooh, that guy died. Ooh, Hugh there. I don't even need to bump into you because I've already got enough boost. Spin. Yeah. Spin. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I should have super boosted there, but that's fine. As long as I finish in the top... 80, I move on. If I could finish closer to the... If I, if I could do better, that would be great. You know, I've got lots of boost this last lap. I bet I could waste it all and die immediately and mute freaking city. <laughs> Don't be foolish, Sock. Don't be greedy, Sock. Yeah. Duh, now be greedy. Now be greedy. 
Oh no, the audio. A uh, freaking gen. We should be back now. Audio should be back now. I don't know why it keeps doing that. I really don't. I'll have to look into why later. I'm not friends with any of you people. Now what could have spurred that, I wonder? <sighs> One of my rivals is an A-? minus. Weird. Wait a minute. Okay. I was about to say the... The little green bars on my... Video capture audio didn't appear ooh, to be sunk with... Games audio as I heard it, but it looks to be from what I can see. <laughs> I got plenty of boost. I should probably boost once. Couldn't hurt. I got super boost now. But do I want to use it already? Yeah. Let's go! Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Now this is nice. This could be better, but this is nice. Oof. Yeah. I'd like more people to explode like that, please. In fact... Is anybody here in danger of exploding who I can boost into to get some free boost myself? I'll have to keep an eye out for him. Uh, just spun into no one. That's a shame. Because now I need to wait for spin again and everyone's here. I've got soup, but what am I doing here? Boost, 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 boost. Alright, be very careful. I've got a good lead. I'm very much in front. I do not want to waste my boost. I do not want to explode. Okay, my good lead is kind of gone, and I'm nowhere near having enough super boost, but that's fine. Because I'm nowhere near having enough regular boost either. So just wait. Just wait now. No. Good. We are so back. Again. <laughs> Scroll up, Sock. You only read the punchline of the Balloon Kid explanation. Oh, the Game Boy release was in July of 2000, though, so it was largely lost and forgotten like Game Boy Wars 3 the following year. Oh, in Japan, I see. A minus, that's me, but inferior. Oh yeah, because you're A. Da, 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 da. Well then the lag isn't that bad then. If it's only about that we're separated by one race. While I'm beginning Sand Ocean, you guys are starting a uh, big blue. That's not too bad. Yes, got him. See, that's the thing. Even if the person you spin is, like, going to go ahead of you, that's fine. Like, your positions in this race are going to change drastically throughout, you know? Just as long as you're getting those points in. Because that's the thing, too. You know, if you're spinning and KOing and drifting and boosting, you're, you're winning some semblance of points that go toward earning tickets for Grand Prix events and stuff. So, so just, yeah, just make use of all the mechanics. Do everything at your disposal. That's, that's my, that's my tip. Uh, I've still got enough boost, but I need. 
I'm in a good enough place and I've got enough boost and I'm not totally overwhelmed that I can wait to use super. I can still wait. I can wait. I can wait. I can wait. Now. Yo. Avoid that. That turn of death. Okay, I bumped into a little bumpy, but that's fine. There's boost here. Hey, got it. Sort of. We're in third now? Oh, I could have I could have blasted through that NPC. But I didn't. Oh well. This is still just the third lap. We've still got a whole other lap to go. To acquire more super, to acquire some more boost, to gain a better lead. We're good. This guy. Yeah! Oh, I didn't do it. Someone else did. Gosh darn it. And it stole my thunder. Oh well. Oh no. But now somebody could boost into me and get me out of here. Take me to the skies. The skies of Arcadia. Oh, but I still have to take the start turn. Yow, yow. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Do not use your boost. Use your boost. Use your boost. Oh. Yeah. Wow, two rough corners and rip 30 places, right? Oh, hey, it's AL. Are you brothers with A? I beat three of my rivals and I only get that much rank power? No, oh, whatever. <clears throat> but check it out though. 15th place, a lot better than last time. <laughs> Let me live. 13th place is a guy named Let Me Live. Oh shoot, one of my rivals is doing really well. Good for him, right? Oh, Deathwind. Deathwind. Do not die here. Do not die. Here in the first round especially, in the first lap especially, I've got to focus on the safe zone is 40. I've got to finish in the top 40 off the bat to stay in this race. Spin. 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 No, oh, that didn't work. Uh, spin. That was better. Uh, I bet Fire Stingray would be really good for this stage because it's got such good grip. Yeah, yeah. No boost. Okay, that's it. No more boosting for right now. I'm in a good spot. I can see the person in first place just ahead of me. Mm -hmm. Mario's up there. My rival Mario. My arch nemesis, Mario of Nintendo Mario Incorporated. Do not. I'm tempted to boost, but don't boost. Don't boost. Oh no. Say something. Am I still in it? Am I still in it? Oh, safe right 30. Uh, get up there. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, good, sweet, please. Oh no, an explody guy. Hey, I, I just saw him as a regular guy. I don't see race. I thought he was just a regular guy. Whoa. A poutine, or is that a poutine? This is the most Canadian man ever lived. Who to ever live? The most Canadianese man in all in all of Canada. Safe zone is 25 now. Oh shoot. That's right, only the top 20 can go to the last race. Must KO the guy. Got some boost. KO another guy? No. Uh, Mr. Pep. Oh, no, Mr. Get some boost, get some boost, get some boost. Oh, no. 
Oh no, you could explode, Sock. You could explode. You could explode. You could explode. You could explode at any minute. Oh, my heart. <gasps> he did. He still didn't see all of it. All of your epic balloon fight joke. Pardon me, Zebor. Pardon me, but I almost died. Give me some time to process the trauma. I don't know this AL freak. <laughs> he doesn't know about the cat. And I never will. Ooh. Oh, water is so freaking good, you guys. Have you guys ever drank water before? Okay. I made it. I made it. Be advised, sharp turns. This course is a lot of sharp turns. Do I dare? I dare. No mines for me. I didn't explode. Yahoo! Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like a pro. Darn it. Oh well. Doing good. Second place. Not bad. That'll change. Spin. Oh, there's still mines here? <laughs> I hope somebody runs them over this lap so the next time they're just not there. Yeah, yeah, yeah! 